Hello everyone to a brand new game and a brand new series. So in this series we are checking out trading card game card shop simulator which is a bit of a mouthful but what our aim in this series is to obviously open our aim card game store and it's time to get down to business but first of all we are going to choose a name but as i was saying in this series what our main goal is going to be is to end up building the biggest card shop but also you can collect your own cards in this game so we're going to go and try and collect the very the rarest cards in the game possible first of all a name i think we should just go for something simple like um kryptonite cards so we'll go ahead and do that kryptonite cards yeah i think we'll go for that one we'll confirm that and now we just need to open the phone and stock up card packs but first of all what i need to do is turn my sensitivity down because that is rather high so we'll we'll turn it down a little bit and we'll try that that's a little bit better okay so tab to open the phone and stock up on card packs so what have we got here we've got um pay bills recruits so that's where we can recruit staff members tcg price so where we can see what the market stock prices are so tetramon is what we are basically collecting the sort of name of the card game is tetramon which is pretty cool and we've got um events here so tetramon jewel master you can set here random rarity pack and card price might increase next name oh okay pretty cool so that's we can do events stock order diy reno big shop level two required so these are just expansions Oh, looks like we've got two different um, shop lots as well, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got our settings here, which we know about DIY. So what we've got plenty of shelving units, everything like that. So stock order. Okay, let's go ahead and purchase a few card packs and get them on the shelf then. What else have we got here? We've got figurines. Um, okay, so boost packs. Okay, let's go for it. We can't unlock these yet. We need shop level two. So, okay, let's buy few boxes of these i'm not sure how many fit on the shelf so we'll order four for now and we'll purchase those and we'll get them on the shelf and get them all ready so plenty of cardboard boxes again so we'll take the box here um can we open the box we can and we'll place them on the shelf so let's see how many we can fit here so one box very nice okay and yeah we'll just chuck the box in the trash i guess best to be clean and look after the place so yeah so four boxes was the right shout so that's pretty good and i think we should also buy a box for ourselves so we can kind of open up i think what we should do is get this shelf get all of this shelf stocked up we'll get the shop open we'll make some money get some experience see if we can get access to some rare cards so if we'll go ahead get this done and we also need to set the price as well so we'll have a look at that and see if we can figure out the best price to sell these for maximum profit so let's go ahead and set the price so market price is 288 average cost 163 i think we could go up a bit i think we could go for not 400 but four um we'll go for four i think hopefully we can sell them like that and we are now open so we can't access this door yet yeah we've got one shelf at the moment and that's about it so what's so expensive really and if they're that expensive why are you buying them um we'll go for that and um we'll go for cash change to there we go and is that it ah we have to hold to give remove space done ah space done that makes sense okay and um, we've got our next customer here so we'll go for that change one we'll go for that as well so we need to kind of work out what we need to sort of do next whether we just buy a load of shelves and expand well they're not buying very many are they that's uh, kind of annoying so let's see what else we can do so tabletop ah okay shop level five required so we can't go for that yet um diy now we just need shop level two so we've got a few selling to do before we get to level two and we can go ahead and get some of this unlocked got a small task of completing five checkouts so that shouldn't take too much longer we should have another customer coming into the doors now he seems to be buying quite a few we might have hit the jackpot on this one probably our biggest sale just yet um giving change nothing nice 32 yeah they don't seem to be purchasing very many 
Um, not enough change to give in. Ah, my bad. Apologies for that one. So expensive. Have we have we really got to drop these prices? I thought they weren't too bad. Um, okay, let's go for three fifty. We won't be so tight. We'll do a pretty good deal with that. I mean, it is above the market price, so you can understand why people are getting a bit touchy with how expensive they are. So we'll drop the price down. So grab card packs on the shelf and open them to get new cards. Okay. Well, do you know what I think we should do for that? We should buy ourselves a box of cards and we'll just put them by the side of us and we can just help ourselves. Unless the task is actually going to require us to actually take them off the shelf, which will be a little bit awkward if so, which shouldn't be too bad. So £2.50, there we go. And we've got this box. We're just gonna open this and we are going to just pop the box down here on the floor as for our personal personal little collection there so go ahead and make some more money in between uh one pound fifty we'll just give you a load of coins just to be awkward okay so let's take a few of these and we'll open these up so we can we can carry quite a few which is pretty cool so let's see what we've got in this one 99 not bad oh fuck on 60 first pack we opened and we've got a nice car on so let's go ahead and open we'll open these packs quickly these customers unfortunately we have to wait a little bit a loop up for one pound fifty not bad oh we're doing well first few packs we're opening we're getting quite a good deal out of this we, we get experience as well so that's pretty cool oh five pound twenty one we have got some good cards so far out of all of this. We're not doing too bad. So I have changed the card pack opening speed. So if it's ones we've already got, it kind of skips past them pretty quickly. We do need to hurry up opening these cards though. Our customers are getting, probably getting very, oh, 18 pound. A Minstar, Minstar EX. Lovely. Highest card value yet. So when I'm waiting to get rare cards, these packs seem to be pretty good for little common packs. The 3P is not very good though. Um, any more? I think we've got just it. Oh, £84.71. A gold edition Esmery. Now that is a really, really good luck of the draw, that is. I think that deserves a screenshot, if I do say so myself. So we'll definitely screenshot that one. And that's probably a good thumbnail opportunity as well, actually first episode on the game and we've done pretty well with that card £7.89 yeah I don't think we're going to top that this round but we have done pretty good so far let's get rid of these customers very quickly they've all been waiting so patiently so thank you very much for doing that change 19 you just have to be awkward didn't you 18 19 so you... fair enough there we go uh, one pack for you sir thank you very much Okay, so we've definitely made a little bit of a profit for all of that. Um, can we open the album? Let's have a look and see what we've got here. So what's this card here? The £84. So we've got 151 total value so far. And I absolutely love the look of this card. Oh, it looks very cool. £5.60, £18. This one as well, the Minstar EX. So that's pretty cool. So let's close, close this and get back to selling cards to our customers. Uh, what have we got here? £2.50 change. I can do that for you. And how many have you got? Only three. You only want to buy three packs of cards off me at the great deal of £3.50. Oh, wow. Okay. Someone is definitely spending some money. That's probably just made my day, that one has. So £59.50. Um, no, 50 50 Thank you very much for your custom. That was definitely a good sale. So hopefully we're going to turn a profit today. And we did start with a thousand. Um, it is getting close to 4 p.m. But there we go. Um, so tab open phone. So how do I have a look and see what cards that we can collect? Then should we open that album back up? Um, sort album, possibly. Catch them on. Price amount, total value. Um, ghost. Oh, ghost ones. Well, we can't see though. How do we go about checking what cards are available to collect? We'll figure that one out once we've got rid of this customer. 1650, we can do that. Thank you very much. Maybe it's in our phone, possibly. Yeah, maybe it's here. 
So price info list cards. There we go. Okay. So Tetramon base, Tetramon ghost. So these are the cards that we want to be going for. The 12,000 cards. Can't wait to start collecting these ones. That look so cool. So let's see what else have we got. Destiny. Oh, these are all gold edition. So have we got one of these then? I'm guessing they're in alphabetical order, possibly. No. Okay, so what one did we get? Was it the uh, Mama Tree Minstar? Was it the Minstar? I don't think it was actually. God, why is my memory so bad? Can't remember what card it was that we got, but we'll, we'll have a look at that after. Let's um, continue serving these customers before it gets too late. Uh, thank you very much. £10.50. can do that for you. Thank you very much. i um, wondering if we're actually going to make a profit today or not. It's not looking hopeful. We're close though. We're very close, but I don't know. I don't know what time we stopped having customers. So six pound change there for you. So what card was it again? I honestly cannot remember what card it was. So we need to go back to sort album. So it was an Esmery. That's the one. It was an Esmery Gold Edition. Any more customers? Hello? Anyone? The shop is still open. Come in and buy some cards. Are you coming in to buy some cards? I've got some money to make some profits. So we're already at shop level two, which is pretty good. I didn't actually even realize it's pricey. Really? That's pricey. I think that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. But let's go ahead. Uh, let's get this day done and then we can go ahead and sort out about what we're doing next with the shop because we have made quite a bit of money today, which I'm very happy about. Uh, we haven't run out of stock, which is also good. And we have found ourselves an £82 card. So I'm very happy with how the first day has gone. Don't think it could have gone any better if I do say so myself. So I think we'll close the shop at around about seven o'clock. Um, I don't think there's any more customers coming in. Oh, it does look like we've got two more customers. I think I'll serve these two customers and then we'll close up shop and we'll go for the next plan. Probably get some more shelving in that done, but we'll have a look and see what we've unlocked because hopefully we should be um, at level three by then and we'll get these cards opened as well and see if we can get any more big money cards from that so we'll go ahead and serve these customers and then we'll go ahead and shut up shop i think um 13 change we'll do that for you and just one card for you sir thank you very much no change oh we've got another customer just rolled in we'll flick on this light then what i think we'll do is we'll close up shop i think Nice, nice sale to end the day that one is. Uh, £5.50, thank you very much. And we are now closed. So let's see what we need. We need a play table um, and put it into the shop. Okay, so we've got play table here. We've got a small cabinet, um, single shelf for level three, which should be able to do for the next day. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, so let's go ahead and purchase that. I'm not sure what will fit on the metal racks. Um, small cabinet. I think we should have some cabinets in the windows, you know, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, but let's go ahead and leave it at that for now, because I think I want some of these. And also the card table. Is that where you can sell your own cards that you collect? That would be pretty cool. And um, we can try and sell that £82 card for something a little bit more than £82. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, let's go ahead and place this down. Can we place it over here somewhere? About there. That should do. I'll give us a bit of space for some more shelving. Um, so let's go ahead and let's open up some more of these packs of cards. So let's go and open card pack. Oh, flammy. Yeah, they're not not worth a great deal, but we will be getting there. Oh, we'll also be level three by the time we've opened these as well. So we may have to get some more shelves ready for the next day. Head soon for four pounds and four. 13 pound nanomite xx so that's pretty cool i do like the like the look of that one so nanomy we're doing well with these card opening i must say definitely been lucky nice shiny kitsune first edition one as well so that's pretty good Oh, we didn't get anything in that one really that one wasn't worth anything that pack so, oh oh three in a row do like these cards
Well, we're getting plenty of new ones, so we're definitely adding to our collection, that's for sure. Okay, so we're shop level three, so we can actually buy some more shelving now, which is pretty cool. So small personal shelf, interesting. Wonder what the personal shelf is all about. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll pop one of these, I think. Yeah, we'll just have one because we don't want to spend too much money. And then what we need to do is we need to do some of these all. Oh, okay, so we have these to buy. So we need a license for these. Um, and then basic card 64 pack license. Yeah, we'll buy those as well. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll buy a couple of those. We'll buy, actually, is that going to be worth it? So 52, 6, oh, it's exactly the same price exactly the same price and then basic card box so unit price 15 20 you get four boxes there i wonder how many of these fit on the shelf not too sure but we'll buy four of those i think that's pretty much all of our money gone total due uh three pound 59 because we've got a delivery fee really delivery fee oh, okay okay so that should give us our stock up properly so what's this one oh yes that was the shelving unit so we'll pop this one down here as well if it will let us put it down that will do perfect um out of boxes what have we got here 32 so we'll get this stock back up hopefully we can fill these um that's going to be the box so we'll pop these down here so yeah one one box of four fits nicely in there that's pretty good need to set the price on those as well and last but not least i think no we've got one more pack one more box of card pack so we'll get that in there as well i oh, know i didn't i bought another box of box yeah so okay so that's all done we'll put that in the bin and then so market price 22 i think we can sell these for let's have a look um so 1520 for unit cost market price is 21 so if we go 22 then how much of a profit is that going to give us six pound 80 profit on that see we could even just go three pound for this um we're still making quite a bit of profit on it one pound 37 it's not massive but you get more profit out of these which is fine so i think to end the day what happened there Bruh. let's place this box down neatly there we go okay let's um go ahead and see what level we have to be shop level 10 to recruit someone okay so we've got a little bit more grinding to do then so i think we'll spend a couple more days or i think i'll just spend the day order all of these and then we'll do some card openings at the end of the day i think okay so we was on a massive loss that day but we did we did just spend quite a lot of money at the end of the day so let's start the next day we'll get everything all sold we'll see how much money we make so we are open for business let's see what the first customer of the day is going to buy hopefully some boxes because they are worth a little bit more but we shall see what this customer wants three bucks that's a fair price to me as well oh lovely you did buy a lot of card packs definitely a collector so let's see 15 change there we go thank you very much someone's waiting for the card table and we need to let 10 customers play card game in the shop. So hopefully they shouldn't be too long to keep her waiting. So this customer's just spent a while on them shelves. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Yep. He definitely likes collecting his cards. So hopefully this is going to be a very good payday for me. 107 total. You gave me 150, so 43. You can have 43 change. Thank you very much for your custom. That was very much appreciated. We're nearly at shop level four as well, which is good. Um, we need to get to level 10, I think it was, wasn't it? To be able to get a member of staff. We've got a couple of customers playing, fetch them on, so that's pretty good as well. So, so far we've hit lunchtime. We've had about four customers in and already our boxes are selling pretty quickly which is good um how many have we got left so we've got none we've only got yeah nine left so we're doing well selling those boxes so definitely be worth investing in some more of those definitely need a few more um standard car packs as well but we'll get this customer done and we'll see where we are oh another good buy there 44 pounds so yeah we're nearly up to 400 already so that's pretty good we're doing well so we could do with probably four more boxes of these ones and then a couple of boxes of the box sets so we're doing rather well so okay we've got some more customers coming in 
is pretty good we'll place an order at the end of the day i think um we'll just see how many we've got we might have to do it halfway through depends on how much all of this lot sells for so yeah, another box is gone so that's good that's another 22 pounds into the bank okay so yeah these boxes are definitely selling out pretty quickly so i think what we should do is we should do a stock order we should get four of these um that will stock up the shelf and then also four of these if we have enough money i don't know if we are we are okay perfect so that will give us enough to stock up these shelves um which will be good and then anything after that we should be pretty good to go with profit wise so we'll get rid of those and we'll just quickly stock up all of our shelves don't know if we've got time to do all of this but we should be we should be good we'll try and get all this done in between customers i reckon we can fit one more box in before that customer goes to the counter this is a problem with um managing your own shop you haven't got any staff so you just do it all yourself relatively quickly in between serving customers so we'll go ahead serve these two we'll try and get them lots stocked up as well or oh, you've just nice made a nice passage made a nice purchase there i must say so thank you very much for that get these stocked up i think he's waiting to play um tetramon with someone else who wants to visit the store so that's pretty good and we have there um where is another box of cards we've got another box of cards here so what we can do is we can place that one down here and we'll empty this one. Oh, i didn't want to put those there oh i can put them back that's brilliant Oh, I like you can do that. You can take it off the shelf pretty easily. Sorry, but you're just going to have to wait a minute, sir. I just need to stock up my shelves. Unfortunately, it's just me in at the moment. So you'll have to make do and just wait patiently. I'll be with you very shortly. There we go. Thank you very much for waiting. Lovely. Okay. We are definitely making some money now. We just spent uh, a massive, like, you know, 500 and we're already back up to three so business is definitely booming at the moment which is definitely good okay so we need to open this and we're just gonna place it here on the floor just for us oh we got a couple more customers are playing tetramon one customer watching or waiting to buy some more who knows but i did notice as well that when the customers finish playing they do go and purchase some cards which is pretty good so we've got some more customers coming in so that's pretty good ah uh, looks like he lost that's not good i feel sorry for you man but the day is ending or getting close to the end and we seem to be doing pretty good for this time around so i'm very happy with how things are going so far oh another nice big purchase thank you very much nice four pound change have uh, 36 pound sale there oh wow okay yep you are definitely in it for a good treat there especially if you find some of the cards i've found in my pack so far you're definitely in for a treat with all of this lot and how much have we got there 122 well thank you very much 28 change thank you this guy's purchasing some cards as well just one box just one box set it's fine by me thank you very much definitely getting busier as the day goes on oh got another two customers playing should be able to get this task completed in no time at all should we open some more packs while we wait or oh, no we've got a customer just coming up let's wait i think we should wait to the end of the day and we'll do a nice big massive massive opening see what kind of cards we can get i reckon we should up the price a little bit see if we can get a little bit more for these boxes because they seem to be selling pretty well let's have a look let's have a play around see what we can do uh, i reckon if we go 25 it's going to be too much let's go for 23 um we'll see if they'll sell for 23 Got a few more customers here playing and waiting to play as well um no complaint on the price for that one so that's pretty good no complaints there that's what i like to see you're gonna make a purchase as well hopefully we can get this task done no, no. didn't want to make a purchase but that's okay you have no obligation to purchase anything if you don't want to ah so they they pay to use the table that's pretty cool i didn't realize that i just saw it come up so how do we go about altering the price then can we do that manage event seven an hour eight to nine p.m current game event costs nothing per day format standard pauper customer play game in shop fires random rarity pack and card price might increase random rarity pack and card price might decrease possible next day effects oh, okay let's leave that for now then and we'll see what we can um come up with at the end of the day got a couple of hours left see if we can make a little bit more money we'll see what um tomorrow brings us see what kind of profit if we've made a profit today that is i'm not sure if we would have made a profit uh, i do keep forgetting to turn the light on though so 
we'll just put some light on the situation just there i think this will probably be the last couple of customers so we'll see how today has fared us because definitely been a busy one a couple of customers playing cards as well we've made a lot of money but we've also spent a lot of money so i'm not sure if we are actually going to be in profit or not we've got two customers waiting here to play after these two and that might let us complete the task if these two play after it might be interesting might see if we can get this task done in one complete day nope oh i think this customer got a bit bored of waiting they're leaving yeah both of them are leaving oh that's a shame oh, but i've also always got the next day hey hold on a minute this guy comes in here with some sort of odor coming from him i i don't really want a stinky boy in my shop why why are you stinking out my shop for come on hurry up finish up your game i want to close shop and open some cards myself but we'll wait patiently because they might buy something after we'll have to see so the day has ended the last couple of customers have just left the shop but i managed to get all the shelves restocked in the meantime and now we have a massive card opening so we've got one of these left over so i thought we could start with this we can open this up and see what we have here so let's start opening cards apparently we can't open these cards i'm not exactly sure why we can't open these oh well, that was odd now apparently we can very odd okay so let's go ahead and get these cards open see if we can find any extreme rare ones so three pounds 78 not too bad 11 pound definitely made our money back on this card pack oh yeah 17 pound 43 definitely a profit in that pack or oh, another min star definitely want to get that table and start selling some of these rare cards that we've got I do want to keep my £80 card though, just because it was the first one. Kind of want to keep it. £4.43 for Lammy. Pretty good. What have we got in this one? Anything? Nope. Oh, unlucky. What about in this pack? Are we going to be lucky? Oh, £5.10 muffin. We should be able to get to level 5 as well. Oh. £13 Nonamite again. Oh, £26 Silver Edition Accedent. Very nice. Oh, a Gold Edition Nocti at £55. We're definitely making some profits here. That was pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a load of these and open all these one up as well. I think we'll get rid of all of these and we'll just decide what ones we're going to sell and what we're not going to sell definitely making a lot of profit off these cards though might have to get two of those card two of those card um shelves to sell our cards because we've got quite a few oh that was a nice one not too bad not too shabby at all haven't got any extreme rare cards yet but i think our time is coming very shortly oh 32 pound minstar lovely i do like the look of that one silver edition so that was a nice profitable pack there I think these cards have been money well spent, especially considering when we're selling them in the shop as well. We're definitely making a big profit. Ooh, £11 coupe. Pretty nice. We're just waiting for that. Next, a massively rare card. So I think we've got two more hands to open, and then we should be good to go to start off the next day. But by the end of day two, we've made quite a little bit of money. I mean, admittedly, we've spent a lot of money. But we're doing pretty well. Especially our first time opening a card shop. I think it hasn't served us too badly, that's for sure. I wonder how much XP we get if we get like a rare card. Because at the moment with these ones, we're just getting 8 XP. I wonder if we do get quite a bit more if we find a extremely rare card okay so that hand wasn't a very lucrative uh, to say the least but 
We are on our final hand now. Are we going to pull an extremely rare card? Only time will tell. Oh, six pound. Not as much as I was hoping for, but still a very nice card. We just got an achievement for collecting 100 cards, so yeah, we're not doing too bad, that's for sure. Oh, 27 pound Wabu Silver Edition. Do like the, the shine on that card. It's a very nice one. Um, let's see. Anything else? I think we've got the last couple of packs to open now. I've got nothing in that one. Nothing of real value in that one. And again, okay. I think this might be the last card pack we are opening for today. Or oh, nothing massively special, but okay. Let's pop these in the bin. So keep our shop nice and clean. And let's come up with a plan of what we're doing with this shop now. So we've got 432, which isn't a massive amount, but I believe we could buy this. I mean, our shelves are stocked, so we could make a little bit of money from this as well by selling our our card. Um, small warehouse shelf. Oh yeah, we can upgrade our warehouse and stuff like that for stocking issues, but I don't think we need that too much at the moment. So I think we should bite the bullet and go for the table so we've bought that let's get that up and ready decide what cards we are wanting to sell so kind of want it here sort of in the window if possible is it going to let us do it yeah that will do perfectly fine okay so let's decide what cards we're going to put over here so we've got our extremely rare esmery here um, I kind of want to keep these ones because these are the very expensive ones. Probably get rid of this Minstar, to be honest, and then probably go on to selling these ones. I mean, they're not worth a great, great amount, but I think it's definitely worth. I'm, I'm half tempted to try and sell this for 100 just to see if someone does buy it. Let me know in the comments if on the next episode you reckon we should put this for 100 pounds and see if anyone actually buys it. It'd be very interesting to see. I'm, oh, actually, I'm guessing we can't. Oh, we can set the price. That's okay. We can set the price there. So market price is 17. I reckon we should go for 20 just because we're going to be cheeky. It's definitely a red card. So I think we should be good for that one. This one, I think we should do 15. We'll round it to 15. That seems good. Uh, we'll go. We'll, yeah, we'll sell another one of these. We've got more than one. So we might as well. Uh, we'll do this one for 10, I think. Um, we'll go for 10 on that one. Shall we try and sell one of these extremely rare ones? Or should we keep them for now? I think we should keep them. So that's them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell these ones as well now. We'll go for nine on that one. We'll just go up a little bit. Don't want to go too mad just in case. Uh, we'll go market price. We'll go up 10%. Yeah, we'll go 13 for that one. Uh, we've got two of those to sell, so we can sell those. We'll get this one for nine. Do that one at a nice little discounted price. I should really only sell my duplicates, but you know, we'll be all right. Sell that one for 10. I think we should be good to go for the next day. So let's end the day right there. We'll see how much money we've lost because I doubt we've made any. Oh, actually, not too bad. We only had a loss of £6.42. So let's start the next day. Carry on. Day three is to sell 10 cars to customers. So once we sell all of these, that task will be complete, which is pretty good. So let's see how well we do on day three of our card shop opening. Um, Excuse me. Just, yeah, carry on. Just walk straight behind the counter. By all means, help yourself. So yeah, we've only got £32, so we definitely need to make some money today. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to afford to stock up our shelves, which would be a little bit awkward, to say the least. Oh, nice big purchase to start the day. Let's see what card did you sell. So you bought the Tetron First Edition foil for 10 So 40 change, we could do that for you. Thank you very much. So first sale of the day, 60 quid. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh my, oh wow. Okay, this one's going to be a big one. This guy is a big vendor. And let's see what this racks up to. So we've got 159. Thank you very much. That will do nicely for my bank balance. And you're also doing quite well. 
Uh, we'll see what card you got in a moment. So what did you go for? You went for the Lapup X at £9. Lovely. Thank you. Glad you found a card that you liked. And looks like we've just sold the expensive card as well. So let's go ahead and get all this wrapped up for you. Okay, so £89 total. Thank you. £11 change. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, we're definitely making profits today. That's for sure. Because we didn't actually, we haven't actually spent any money today. So this will just be pure profit, which is pretty good. We spent the money yesterday stocking up the shelves. I don't really want to spend any more restocking the shelves. So we'll have to just wait and see. Um, we've only sold card two out of ten, but there's three cards gone. So how does that work? We must have sold three cards to customers, surely. Thank you very much. Ten pounds exactly. Sell 10 cards to customers. Oh, unless he bought the card and he sat down there, which is, yeah, they haven't left yet. So it hasn't really counted. Hopefully. Anyway, what can we do for you? Lovely. I can't wait to start opening some of these rarer packs. We need to save some money for licenses, which is kind of what the goal is going to be. At the moment, now we've kind of got our shop set up and established. I think we'll just use the profit to buy some licenses and some new stock. Seems like a good way to go. Let's go ahead and get you done. No change needed for you. Um, perfect. Thank you very much. £19 change. We can do that for you. Thank you. These guys are still playing. So what have we got here? Um, let's just move you over to here. Make you a little bit more organized. We'll pick you up and we'll pick you up as well. Just put you all on one shelf. At least I kind of know where we are then. Lovely. That looks a bit neater. Although it looks more empty now which is definitely not good but um our customers are definitely buying these card packs quite quickly so we might have to spend a little bit more money today just to make some more money because otherwise we're going to run out of stock um let's see what we've got here 14 change for you perfect okay so i think we have just sold all of our cards so this guy's just bought two and this guy has just bought the last three of our personal collection so that is pretty good glad we managed to get rid of all of those thank you very much one two three a 35 pounds total for that it all goes towards the bank towards the profit so successfully complete 100 checkouts 65 at 100 that's going to take a little bit longer i mean it's only taking three days to do 65 so it's not been too bad okay so there we are we are the end of day three our shelves are looking pretty empty but we are now shop level six so i think we can yes we can we can get the rare card pack so we'll buy that license so we've got that unlocked um we could also do some plushies as well possibly that's quite expensive though um cleanser but possibly we'll buy that license we'll stick them on the shelf as well and also the card sleeves we'll definitely do the card sleeves and that is it for a license so we just need to stock up our shelves and that but i think and that will be a good place to end that episode We've had a very successful start, three days, and we've also made a massive start with this lovely card here, this Esmery at £81. So we've done definitely well to grab that card. So yeah, if you're liking the series and liking the game, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe as well. We've got plenty more of these videos coming. It's been Kryptonite here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.